it's a concept in my head when I'm making them which I can't explain I don't know there is a passion side to it all and anybody who works with two strokes whatever sort of aspect of it is it tends to be a passionate thing as opposed to a sensible thing <laughs> The way a pipe's made, I mean, there's lots of variation, and there's, I mean, there's no rules as such. You know, you're looking for more mid-range or, or more top end, um, and the trick is to actually achieve that without losing something else. There's quite a few aspects to it, and you don't want to get it wrong. When I designed the pipe, you want it to deliver power right the way through the range. Not the ultimate power necessarily, but the smooth power, a smooth power delivery. Everything's a compromise anyway with it, uh, but that's the idea of it. You have a smooth power delivery that you can power out of corners. Um, is quick down the straights as well. Uh, and, and that's what you're looking at when, you, when you're producing. So ultimately you're not, well you're not looking for ultimate power because you have to have usable power. When I'm actually making it up, making it fit the bike, it's getting four pipes in, rooted very nicely, and that's that's a lot of the secret of how it delivers the power. You can you can chuck them in there anyway, sort of thing, but it's it's how it's done it does make a difference. If it was just left to the piston, you wouldn't get maximum power out of it. So the exhaust creates negative and positive pressure waves within it to actually make sure that uh, you get a good charge into the cylinder and not losing it down in the exhaust. I used to go to a lot of the, lot of the meetings, some of the Grand Prix and that sort of thing, um, and it helps to see what's happening with the people that are racing so far as design is concerned, but you can tell an awful lot by watching them ride. Uh, and, and, and you can work it out for yourself rather than relying on what they're telling you. The end result of everything is what happens when you're out on the track. And that's the only thing that matters, really. I mean, everybody wants a fast bike, obviously, but a fast bike is a bike that gets around the circuit quick. By experience of actually having made them, um, you, you do know what certain changes will tend to do. It doesn't actually happen all the time. I mean, it's, that's where the experience comes in. It's not calculable.